Hello and welcome to the vlog for session 9 of Pokemon Spectrum. Where should we start, everybody? <laughs> well... <laughs> so much to discuss. So yeah. much to discuss. Do we want to try to go, like, chronologically? Just... We always try, don't no, we? Yeah, we always try. We can yeah, at least start. Sure. So, the Moon Pearl is happening, finally. <laughs> the Moon Pearl. <laughs> I, I it was a very sweet <laughs> scene. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad. I was, I was, I was happy with the way it turned out. Um, I covered, we covered most of the things that that I wanted to talk about with her because I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure Molly would want she would want to seek out an expert or who she perceives as an expert to uh, talk about uh, all of this stuff because she doesn't she's she barely understands it herself. So, yeah, talking to Dr. Pearl was just, it was great for her, I think. And here's to hoping that she is a genuinely good person. Yeah. Because otherwise, <laughs> she knows everything. Exactly. Yeah, what was, what was uh, going through Molly's head when she was divulging all of this information to Molly, Dr. yeah, Molly, Molly 100% trusts Dr. Pearl. Like, uh, yeah, it didn't sound like there was any hesitation. No. Zero, yeah. zero hesitation on Molly's part. Like she, she, it, it would be like I feel like if if she ran into the Rays right now, she would probably tell her this, tell them the same stuff that she told Doctor mm. Pearl. Like Aww. she one hundred percent trusts Doctor Pearl. <clears throat> we'll see if that backfires. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll also have that information soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, this does set up thing. Is Molly going to tell the party what she told Doctor Pearl? Mm, I'm. I think she will probably on the trip, on the way okay. to. You know. Yeah, so at some point, Tiffany is going to contact to set up for a session with Pearl. Just you know, was well. I can't tell her this, and I can't tell her about Cresselia. And the story doesn't make sense without this information. But it makes me sound crazy. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Molly's I'm like, not. <laughs> Molly's like, well, I've covered that. Exactly. <laughs> there should be group what sessions. Are your, yes. What are your thoughts this is for the whole group on um dr pearl's friend who's having things with dreams does Jenny. anybody know kyle, <laughs> yeah, I'm with kyle. kyle that was actually i was put that chat's like no don't mm -hmm. bring it up <laughs> okay. in the vlog <laughs> okay uh because uh in particular because of some of just so small subtle lines that kyle has uh dropped about you just have to trust me to noirs and stuff i think maybe he's dreamt things that coming to bear and he trusts us more than we trust ourselves because he sees what we become or he's seen some actions that we've done or something like that so he's sort of going on gut but it's not it's it's a gut based on uh, dreams and that's if he is the one who's dreaming and there's that blue okay. door so the blue door for me is, uh, <laughs> and if we just consider the fact that one typically I think something like this would be with the character that's already been introduced which obviously he has and two we know that he is like seeing her like he can yeah, that for us. So mm -hmm. it would, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's having trouble with memories. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see if we'll see if Moon Pearl actually happens. I hope so. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how that goes. Right now, I think <laughs> the way I'm playing Dr. Pearl is she's she's oblivious at the moment. But, uh, you know, if you want to make it a little more obvious... The psychologist can't see the signs. The psychologist Love me. can't see... <laughs> <laughs> I think she's... Molly, I, I are mean, you I going think... to go see her, sweetie? Come here, let me... I just, I just want to do some lipstick on you. I'm just saying, come on, be pretty. I think Dr. Pearl, like I said, she, she's, she tries to be professional, but I feel like she is easier to entice than Kyle would be. Darn it. I think would be easier. <laughs> easier. So. Just need to Sorry, make that. Well, <laughs> um, patient doctor uh, relationship and make it into something else. You know, you're not your patient and you all exactly. really rub that in. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if Molly becomes more bold. Yes. <laughs> you have three women would... around you. Yes. And Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Three wing women and Chase. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We are apparently all okay with sending our Pokemon into danger, except for those of us that aren't. Yeah, I guess that's Tiffany true. Tiffany finally met Madison! Finally! <laughs> that's true. That came right oh. Go ahead. Ella? Go ahead, Ella. Oh, oh, I was going to say, well, Noel's not okay with sending Remy, but Remy just wanted to go, so it's like, yeah. I'm oh. not going to stop you. Same with you. If you said no, that would have been it. He's not I mean, going. I think Sorry. the only trainer or the only human who was like actually really all right with it was Chase. Yeah. So he was just like, do it. And everyone else is like, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> You ready in two hours? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they only just almost got hit by lightning. I mean, yeah. oh, he has all the stories to tell Chase, and Chase is gonna understand any of them. Oh, it's gonna be fake lightning. It's digital stuff, anyways. How much gonna hurt them? <laughs> <I'll let> them. <laughs> well, <laughs> I do. I appreciate the um, conversation that Tiffany and Cassie had with each other because I think it's a very realistic. It's like, I don't know if we should throw our Pokemon into danger kind of thing. So that's, it's, I, I applaud you for addressing, um, addressing that since it makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> Good job, Tiffs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not, just, yeah, not all the trainers would be down for that. Exactly. It was a, it was a big decision. Like, well, because none of us are established as trainers, right? Exactly. So, all our relationships are really, they're sort of different at the well, end of the day. Yeah. Here's the thing, if Riz had not had Cassie go, I really don't like this, Tiffany would have thrown a much bigger fit instead of just going straight to you and, do you want to do this, sweetie? <laughs> that, but is like, that... we had that covered. Well, so I'm wondering then on that, is that because you think, oh, well, in a role-playing sense, we want all of our bases, we want a reluctant one, we want this one, or was that because after seeing Cassie, Tiffany changed a little bit? Yeah. The, the last part. Yeah. The last part. Oh, the last part. Okay. The ladder. So it wasn't a meta thing. No. Cool. <laughs> it's like, yeah, for Molly, it was more of a more of a duty thing. Like, Rotem was essentially her responsibility. So she feels mm -hmm. like, even no matter how much she doesn't like it, she feels like she has to uh, help him get out of there. And Bullet is Bullet was Rotem's uh, friend at one point. So. But man, this is twice in a row now. You're sending Bullet off on his own. <laughs> What's happening? Independence by She's so friend. proud of him. Independence. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Lux is proud. Soon you'll be like me. It'll be great. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's so much heavy lifting today. <laughs> like literally. Yeah. <laughs> I carried all of you throughout this session. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple times. Uh, Anything else beside, before we go to the PC? Anything else? I would say the Fabian, the Fabian line oh, threw me off. I did, not, I did not anticipate. Do you remember what he said? Uh, she, 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 is not, uh, she is not here. She's, she's not, not actually here. here. She's, she's not, not really she's here. Not really. Yeah. She's not yeah. really here. What do you now guys what that think means? that means? I don't know. <laughs> but... <laughs> I, I couldn't even take a guess right now, honestly, because, like, from, I mean, Noir shouldn't, Noir isn't here? Like, uh, if someone in Molly? Like, someone close to me isn't here? Like, who who are you addressing right now? Because you're looking yeah. through me. I'm not a she, but you're saying, you're, I Well, mean, I mean, have you checked? He was I mean. at least <laughs> nice enough to narrow it down to 50% of the population. That, I mean, that honestly, nice though, enough. I think one of the most, key, like, important words there was really, you know? Because if it's just, you know, she's not here, well, that could mean anyone <laughs> who's female who's not present. Like, good job, Fabian. But they're not really here. Yeah, like, Molly and Tiffany, they weren't there. Yeah. yeah. So what does also that, that mean? Mm. Well, I combine that with, like, the other line, you shouldn't be here, is like, yeah. hmm. Well, it, it's that I don't even... Like, I don't know if Chase would associate to a noir. Like, I don't, I think as a player, I'm like, is that, I don't, like, I'm trying to figure it out. But from Chase's perspective, I think, well, he doesn't know. So there's a little bit of meta going on, at least in my head, because I know that, he, like, Fabian repeated the line Chase said in an earlier session. So there's some, something's happening there, right? So from a meta perspective, I'm trying, I'm trying not to, but 
that's how I'm trying to piece something together, right? And now I'm just like, feeling it, like Fabian is the new Madison for Tiffany to meet now. <laughs> when mm. Fabian gets into these trances, is what I'm going to call it, do you think it's coming from Fabian himself, or do you think it's coming from something else? Uh, and uh, So I'm afraid to say it, but I would... I would so I'll say, because I think it's like Chase might consider this next time he sleeps, but I think he's... It's for the fu a future session. Like I think he's just dropped a hint of like he can see the future. He's he's like, and that sort of got confirmed with the whole someone sleeping, like the pearl comment about someone seeing the future. And so I started painting like I think he's like seeing <clears throat> stuff that's going to happen, and then making a comment about it. It's my current. It's Chase's current stance. <laughs> when when did Chase and Fabian first say the "you don't belong here, you shouldn't be here" line? Because uh, you shouldn't be here, right? I believe it's when, um, if I remember correctly, it was like session two or three when Noir woke up in the morning after, I think she woke up and she opened the door after the nightmare and then Fabian said it to her and then he, he shook out of it. Well, because what I was wondering is if he's <clears throat> referring to like Darkrai and Cresselia, because especially if it's right after a nightmare, that's Darkrai's domain. So like you shouldn't be here, that makes sense. And then she's not really here. Like a lot of Cresselia's stuff is concentrated in that apartment, especially because two of the people involved in the dreaming are there. Um, but I don't know, that's speculation. There's another thought that crossed my mind with the Pearl scene and the dreamer and Kyle. The fact that he's not with the five made me think, oh my God, are there like another five? Are there like another five that are not Cresselia? They're the... Ew, the, the, the I like nightmare this side of oh. it, like it's like an alt universe of the dream world, <clears> where <throat> they have their own doors and their own scenarios. We do have to so about that. Coming, We're having a god war. <laughs> so, like a like a dark cry version of the dream Cresselia's yeah. dream world. Yeah. Yeah. Nightmare world. And so the nightmare in the world. world, the nightmare yeah. zone. Mm-hmm. Mm Interesting theories. Anyone else? Could be. Have any theories? <laughs> okay. Let's move on to the PC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the <player. Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> it was ridiculously fun when, we're, oh, yeah. when the Pokemon were first starting out. <laughs> Does Bullet still have the star above his head, or did he turn that off? <laughs> I, I don't kept know. If, it. if it's if he turned it off, it was just because he pressed it too many times. Okay. <laughs> he certainly didn't do so intentionally. It's 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 actually a crescent moon right now. It's, like, yeah, ah. it's a crescent moon. It's a crescent moon above his head. Aww. I like that That's one. It reminds me of her. <laughs> there you go. You got a crescent moon above your head, floating. So I like the... the image of the Sims plum bob style yes. <laughs> just floating above his head. Oh man. <laughs> The, watching you guys interact with the storage system and the box was very fun. That was amusing. <laughs> the wallpaper. <laughs> you loved the wallpaper. I'm sure he did. Yes, and Lux is now convinced. No more missions with any of you. You are not focused. <laughs> and I, the crowbat. That's it. I appreciated Gobblestone's misreading of release. <laughs> uh. Release. <laughs> Release. Oh jeez, that led to amusement for me. Yes, exit was fun too. That was yes. that made a lot of sense. Exit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, it's like you know, Nothing. if you're calling an elevator, you press the button and then you sit there for a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then. Yeah. All of the newfound racism against poison types is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like... Interesting how, how the warm up question had something to do with the session. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, well, convenient. Ours <laughs> if someone planned this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like I think I think basically the entire session was one big one huge confusing question mark for you. <laughs> like there was the, the there was the birds and the bees talk, which he did not get at all. There was the, You're, the yeah, you, you haven't you haven't been exposed to that <laughs> growing up because Tiffany hasn't really. Yeah, I was pretty sure no Tiffany. Has... for you. Well, it's like so... half of the, half of the group was not aware of what that really. Meant. <laughs> Lux yeah. was. It's like I don't want to deal with this. 
Cobblestone, <laughs> thank you. It's, it's backwards yeah. thinking. I mean, I think it's. Oh my. It's I I I I think it's not unusual to think that your Pokemon might be more forward thinking than or more progressive than that. But it's it's a thing, apparently. Um, <clears throat> Especially, especially when it when it comes to the whole pokerous pokerous aspect of it, it makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense practically. So, <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, thoughts and on I all like, of? Go ahead. I like the implication that Robert Frost was a rapist. <laughs> like, oh lordy, gosh! Uh, <laughs> that's like literally the worst like, character to have that happen to you because. I like no idea. Oh man! No, I was like, oh, that is not well, this your took friend, a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Pokemon in this universe are just as dark as humans, which is not <laughs> normal for people who watch the anim the anime or the. Or, uh, yeah. You know, it's yeah. no. This is a very more a grittier, a grittier spin on the Pokemon universe. So, yeah, they're not yeah. Uh, they're not all innocent. <laughs> like I think, I think there was almost like a moment there where we were like, oh, why don't we just friend, send friend in alone because they seem to like ice types better. It's like, oh, yeah. they, they like so you glad a lot. That didn't oh, happen, yeah. Robert that definitely liked you too much. So badly. Cassie would have been so mad. <laughs> 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 it's like, sorry, we lost one Pokemon. It happened to be you. <laughs> no, no, she comes back, but then she has an egg. No. Yeah, she has an egg. Oh dear. <laughs> Which well, who knows what happened. Robert would have had planned? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Also, the scene could have turned out really bad if Remy had gone with her. That's the other bad yeah. scenario. I hadn't realized oh, yeah. the whole fire type inside an ice city. Probably oh, not. That'd have been fun. Smart, way worse than a dust skull mimic you. You know, way mm -hmm. worse. But we and would then... have died without Remy. <laughs> exactly true. that too. That cold. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah the uh, so when I when I designed this session, I had ideas of what each of these cities would be, and you were welcome to yeah, visit, it's a, explore. It's as a thing we didn't wanted. get to. I want to hear all the cities we didn't go to now. With all the Pokemon, yeah, we're just set on like I mean, finding him and leaving. I I don't I'll, I'll I mean I can tell you some of it. So yes. we have Paradise, yeah. like I said. Um. We have green meadows, which is grass types, uh, which is you know very rural hobbit-like hobbit-like <laughs> village. So you already know about Voltania, the hive. The hive was one of the starting points because I had you guys decide whether you wanted to go the hive first or paradise. Mm -hmm. And the hive, like you thought, was all bug Pokemon <clears throat> in a big giant hive, and everybody lives in cells and things of that nature. Um, one of the places, understandably mm. so, to actually accept, be more accepting of poison types because many bug types are also poison. Um, then you have the Pixie Palisades, very... Where Lux discovered he likes to frolic. Yes, he likes <laughs> to frolic. I'm by this. <laughs> I, I sort of, this sounds very, like, stereotypical, but it's it's just fun stereotypical. I sort of modern made made the pixie palisades like very mm. um, very pride like <laughs> very pride city like mm -hmm. just because i thought that would be fun um aerosphere you got a glimpse of with all of the flying pokemon there's rockerfeller rockerfeller <laughs> for all of uh, the rock type pokemon which is basically like large boulders and tunnels and stuff toxicity smog Lots of like toxic and asses all over the place. Probably not very friendly to most of you, with the exception right. of you and and um, Bullet. Uh, Bullet. <laughs> you you know about Neutropolis, and then there was also Obscura, which is the dark type, Ooh, which you haven't you. gotten to. So those are the cities that currently exist mm -hmm. in that universe, which means maybe you might come back here again. I don't know. I don't Eesh. know. We'll mm. see. Um, <laughs> was that the only person that was waiting to run into Iridessa or someone? I'm sorry? Was that the only person just waiting to run into Iridessa or someone from that group? Hmm. I actually was not expecting to see any human or morphs. Yeah, okay. 
Mm. That would have been. I mean, that didn't she does have line. Pokemon in her group. <laughs> right. Hence why I asked, like, "Do we see Glaceon?" I. That was. Yes, I did. Question. You did not see Glaceon. I yeah. know. Glaceon. Um. So yeah, it seems like every single <clears throat> city has been formed, created specifically to make Pokemon of specific type comfortable mm -hmm. and enjoyable. Um, and I was trying to address a lot of things in the game mechanics that actually is a real thing. A lot of people just collect Pokemon just so they can fill up their Pokedex and then they drop them into the storage box and then forget about them. I've done mm -hmm. it gas yeah <laughs> i just drop them in and then you know you after like the 64th centret that you get you just kind of name them whatever and <laughs> centret five or whatever and you don't even bother nicknaming them anymore so they're all whatever um and they just you know abandon them and forget about them and they're just in stasis and it's like those poor pokemon oh, you don't even yeah. release them you just keep them in the boxes and so i was addressed i wanted to address that in this <clears throat> campaign because i'm like that's pretty effed up. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. They're just sitting there. <laughs> and um, somebody decided, hey, enough's enough. Uh, yeah, we don't like the idea of these Pokemon just not living their lives. They're not out in the wild. They're stuck in these boxes. So let's l release them and form our own cities. And it looks like that's the <laughs> implication that's that's happening is these Pokemon are not forming these cities in these virtual city, these virtual with, worlds. With how I've shiny hunted, I could have a city of like just Vulpix, of just Poochiana, <laughs> of like, because like, and I've never found, like hatched my own shiny, it's awful. But I've had like 12 boxes full. Yeah. Um, and I liked the thought, oh, I was just gonna say, I like the thought then in the normal type city that like half the Pokemon had all the same moves because they're like HM slaves. Yes. You know? yeah. <laughs> all of the normals are HM slaves, yes. Normals tend to be the ones that people tend to not bring as much in their team because yeah. normal types aren't as interesting. But they can learn a lot of different types of moves. They can. And yes, so you'll get the true. one where you're like, okay, you have cut, surf, water <laughs> And that's all I'm going to use you for. You're not even going to be level. You're still level there you five. Go. You're level five, but you still have all of these eight. Yes, HM and TM slaves. Mm -hmm. yes. One thing that you missed, but I but I'll I'll mention it here is that so there was that one box that you with that you passed by with the Pokemon mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. Had you gone to mm -hmm. investigate that even more, you would have noticed that um, a good majority of the Pokemon in those boxes, um, if you had for whatever reason investigated them, they would look a little discolored like a little they would look a little discolored and had you have brought up a summary of those pokemon you would have actually seen pkrs in their in their status like they have oh. they are pokemon stored Wait, in there in with pokerus pokerus no <clears throat> i would say like a dozen okay. in that box mm -hmm. a dozen have pokerus in it but to infect all the rest essentially was it a pokerus yeah, box yeah and they're just they're just, just stored in there just to just to you know, infect other Pokemon wow. is what you would have found out, oh. but we didn't get to that. But Although, knowing our Pokemon, um, we probably would have accidentally got in there and got infected. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. My, my my thoughts as Remy was like I want part like I wanted to go because I think that was the that box for him was a trigger of like I don't think we should be saving anybody from this. Like I think mm -hmm they're doing this because they're free like why would we go and find yeah. these guys and bring them yeah. back like remy doesn't want to say anything of what's going on mm -hmm. i mean yeah. he didn't you know with the pokers thing but... yeah and mm -hmm. I, I i think it's safe to say that when whoever is like inviting these pokemon into these cities are probably steering clear of the pokers ones mm -hmm. <laughs> probably not even letting them out which is mm -hmm. unfortunate but i mean they're quarantined yeah. in there so and they don't know any better they're just in stasis. They don't know any better. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes you makes, makes yeah. This kind of makes me think Bill might be behind it. <gasps> Who Bill's Bill, behind that? Bill, Bill. Because he just disappeared. Like no one knows yeah. where he is. No one knows where, where Bill happened. is. It's Bill's PC. He could, he could it have, is Bill's uh, PC. Mm -hmm. Could have uploaded his brain to a Pokemon and then ran into the computer and just started the city. He didn't invent the PC system in the Pokemon game, so maybe he doesn't like the way it's being used. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Possible. 
Because yeah, it has to it has to start somewhere. Because I don't think a Pokemon would have just accidentally gone out of stasis and then you know freed the other Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I mean, a hacker could do it. I mean, theoretically. Well, yeah, exactly. Madison but... got us in here, right? True. So that's where I'm thinking it was. I don't think a Pokemon started it, really. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, I guess the Pokemon that potentially could would be like a Porygon or a Rotom. You know, something that well, could have access to that sort of thing. The whole cyber world. Or Rotim. Yeah, I mean, that should be fun when we eventually <laughs> meet him. <laughs> Can't wait to find him. I know. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I was I was really expecting Missing though to be one of the glitch Pokemon. I was too. I was afraid that that yes. might happen because like there's no like in the the deity book I forget what it's called. Um, oh, blessed and the damned, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> there's no solid description of it because they're like, we made it as vague as possible so it could be applied to any story. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it could be, you know, like a god or not. <laughs> yeah, your reaction to the glitches, to the glitches. <laughs> I, I was not expecting to see, like, the. I was going to say Pokemorphs, but we're using that term for something else. But. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Thankfully, none of them appear to be able to fly, so bullets safe. <laughs> Just stay above them forever. <laughs> Never go down. <laughs> we have rope. We could just lower it down and pass your rope. Tim, but should be fine. <laughs> His hands. Be great. The art. The art credit. Uh, I'll put a link on the bottom. So the, all the the glitchy Pokemon is <laughs> from an artist. Uh, who actually who drew actual glitched Pokemon in Pokemon Go? Um, oh, so yeah, and I I just saw those images like oh wow I need to use these so I'll put a link to the artist in the bottom if you want to check his work out or her work out, uh, mm -hmm. and that's where the glitchies come from. Be interesting. Are they contagious? I forget <laughs> what the book says. <laughs> We're not gonna get glitched, are we? <laughs> Well, what I wonder is, are we going to start the next session with them in a battle? Or is it going to be one of those, no, they're just misunderstood? <laughs> I'm hoping they're just misunderstood. I mean, cause, because considering the racism that we've encountered, I wouldn't so be surprised far, yeah. if they're just outcast because they're glitches. They've been to you've been told that they were cannibalistic. <laughs> yeah, but we were told that about, like, blacks right. in early... <laughs> Early times. <laughs> so early times. Yes. None of that happens nowadays. No. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, rumors could spread. All you know, about control. We'll see. Were you gonna was the Roma or trying to say something? Cannibalistic. I don't know. <laughs> Send in Go ahead, Roma. Go ahead, Roma. Yeah, I was just saying I some and someday I'm sure I'm sure U will explain why he he only refers to Tiffany by her name and no one else. Aww. Mm. Now I am curious about this. <laughs> I am curious too. She's not like mom friend. <laughs> mom friend. Aww. Aww. Sparkly friend. Sparkly <laughs> friend. <laughs> like, nope. Everyone is something friend. <laughs> and it's it's not yeah, it's it's not an unaware thing. He he knows what he's doing. Aww. <laughs> Good to know.